Hey, yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy, Pony Montana, and in this video, we're going to be going over a big, big adjustment that you guys might need to know if you guys are trying to run a hybrid style defense in Madden 24. Now, what I mean by hybrid, I mean, if you guys are running zone coverage, wouldn't you like to run a zone coverage mixed with match coverage or man coverage mixed with match coverage and zone there's a tribe there's a tribrid kind of defense and a hybrid kind of defense and in this video i'm going to showcase i'm going to show you guys how to do that now before i get into it if you guys are new to the channel do not forget to hit that subscribe button like the video comment down below on anything you guys might need on the channel and hit that noti bell so you guys never miss an upload and if you have nothing to say just comment fta it stands for for the algorithm and helps push these videos to more people so let's get right into it this should be a quick video quick up upload but i will be explaining the reasons why you want to do this adjustment now the adjustment is for defense right and a lot of the times people like to people end up at the end of the year they end up shifting towards a match style defense because everybody's 99 speed uh and it kind of helps even when you have linebackers that are on the field if they have 99 speed they'll keep up with most players as well with that match style kind of defense but obviously match defense does there are a lot of ways to beat match defenses in madden in general so running a hybrid or tribrid version of of match defense is going to help now the reason why this video is something that needs to be done for the simple fact that as soon as you adjust your zone drops, even if you have your zone coverage set to match, they're not going to match. You also need to know the, the zones that will apply matching principles to the defense as well. So whenever you sit there and you change your zone drops, it will negate your matching principles. They will not match even if they are in seam flats, if they're in uh, quarter flat seam flats. Uh, outside quarters, uh, soft squats, all those kind of uh, vert hooks, three wrecks. It doesn't matter what it is. These guys will not end up matching up unless you do this one adjustment. Now, we're just going to come out in dollar and we're going to come out in, let's just come out in a cover two. And then on the offensive side, we're just going to come out. Let's just, we're always just going to come out in bunch. It's the most popular formation in the game. So we're just going to come out in bunch and we're going to come out in verticals. Now, when you are when you call your defense, it doesn't matter what it is. The first thing that you're going to want to do, if you want that hybrid variation of the defense, you're going to have to reset the play as soon as you come out of the huddle. So as soon as you come out of the huddle, you're going to press square or X, and then you're going to press L2 to reset the play. What this does is now those vert hooks will end up matching on a specific individual. Let's go ahead and put these guys well, I, I don't know if it's the vert hooks, but I know that the, if there was a three rec that's on the field, they'd end up matching with one of the players that's on the field. And they'll fo they'd, they'd end up following them. As you can see, look, watch look, look at where the mid read is at. Look at where the mid read is at. The mid read is over to the left side. He's the glowing middle linebacker completely following R1 right now. Why? Because he's matched up. He's matching. Okay? So I'm, ju I'm just going to throw the ball away just to showcase. So the mid read ended up still matching all the way across the field that's all he's on is a mid read he's on nothing else we didn't change his assignment he's simply in a mid read so i'm going to showcase the instant replay on that so you guys can see it for, for yourself that this guy ends up following him all the way up literally all the way up the field all the way just following the crosser he's he he's got no other assignment besides following that crosser right now and he did it to the best of his ability he followed him all the way up and this is this is a 99 speed wide receiver being followed and clamped up by a linebacker just want just want to note that while while you guys are wondering why you should do this that's one of the reasons now another reason is simply if you don't do the if you don't do the uh the hybrid coverage or do that then all of a sudden the defense is going to be completely different now as as you can see this time we, we we didn't do it and look at where the middle the mid read is at the mid read isn't playing anything and we end up i just threw it right to him on purpose I'm not blind, I promise. But again, that's what happens when none of the none of the hybrid match coverage or any of that is going on. So the previous play, if you guys noticed, all the other zones worked like normal because there were no other matching zones on the field. When you have the mid read, that's a matching zone. When you have a three rec, that's a matching yellow. When you have a soft squat, that's a matching blue zone. When you have a quarter flat, or a seam flat that's a matching purple zone if you have an outside quarter that's a matching deep blue that is gonna that is gonna help you guys out on the field to create those matching principles so one of the ways that i like to use this is if i'm facing a bunch variation 
So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to reset the play here and I'm going to put this guy, I'm going to put him in a seam flat and I'm going to put this guy here in an outside quarter. Okay. This guy, you can do whatever you guys want with him. You can put him in a hook curl. You can put him in a, in an inside quarter. I'm just going to put him in, in, a, in an inside quarter for this. So now our defense out to the right side is all zone. And now we're playing a cover six, an actual cover six, a hybrid version of that cover six, cover four defense. Cause if you call that cover six without adjusting any, any of your zone drops, these guys are not going to double Mabel on that left on, on, on that right side. And everybody that's on this, that's on this side here is not going to do exactly what we want them to. So now we have a mid read, we have a seam flat and we have a deep zone. So this entire left side of the field is all hybrid defense. And again, we're, 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 we're going to fake our, we're, we're going to fake the, the offensive player as if there's some kind of defense that, you know, some kind of blitz that might be coming. And as you can see, the mid read completely follows that guy all the way up and everything is pretty much clamped up. That is why you want to make this adjustment. And that's, that's exactly why you want this on your field because it'll end up following everybody pretty much all the way over, except for on the side where you have your zone drops actually set. So again, Everything is clamped up for the most part. There's not many things that are open. And I'm just going to showcase the instant replay so you guys can see exactly why we call it this way. So we put our outside guys in quarter flats. Now, he, he did get burnt over the top here, but obviously he, he didn't throw it. Then everything else that's on the field, look at where the mid read on the left side went and followed him all the way up. That was going to be another video that I was going to post. And then with this running back coming to the side, our zone drops worked exactly how we wanted them to. So these guys end up playing the middle short very, very quickly. So he's playing the middle. And these guys end up going, he ends up backing up about 30 yards because that's where we have our zone drop, which allows us to sit there and play a zone drop defense on one side of the field and a matching defense on the opposite side of the field. Now, I do want to try something uh, before I get out of here for this video. So we end up having our defense absolutely set perfectly, blah, 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 blah. Let's, let's, you know what? Let's just leave him in a vert hook there. So one, ooh, kids, one thing that we're going to do is pretty much showcase one thing that happens when you do run this defense the way that it is. Okay. So if we take this guy here up oh, and I actually just called the wrong play, but if we take that outside guy, that solo side receiver, and we don't have him in a if we take the defender that's guarding that that receiver and we put him in that outside quarter mind never mind any of these other zones here we're just going to put everybody else in spies because we don't care but if we have that guy in a quarter in a quarter seam there exactly how you see there and this outside receiver does not go all the way up he ends up playing pretty much like a 30 yard cloud flat if there's no other zones that are going up the field he stays in his position and he does not come down and help with anything else. So right now, I'm simply gonna put Samuel here in a smoke screen. Just to showcase, look at where he's at. He's not playing anything else. Unless he unless he's going vertically up the field, he's not gonna play anything else. As you can see, he is completely clamped up. Now, obviously that's just one of those bad animations that EA grants us, but he completely in a deep blue, pretended like as if he was playing man coverage. Why? Because there are not enough zones on that side, as you can see, look, match coverage here and match coverage there, which means that both that both routes that end up going across the field there are are going to be completely clamped up. And you only have to worry about your user only has to worry about the things that are underneath. So if you are going to run this, one thing that I will know is you guys should only stay underneath with your user and let everything else just be clamped up by the, by, by the AI. Let AI control their destiny because that's exactly what what that's exactly what we want. We want AI versus AI, and we want to put our AI in a better position to win the game. So again, if that guy goes on a vertical route, he's going to go on a vertical route. If he stays down low, he's going to stay down low unless a route starts cutting up and being in the way of that. Once that happens, you guys are able to sit there and take control of the entire field with just your user because everything else, you got the double Mabel on one side and then you got the hybrid, the hybrid kind of style on the opposite end, which makes your defense very, very hard to read. That's the main part is a lot of people, when they look at defenses and they see certain reads, they're going to look at the safeties to see what the safeties are doing. But if one safety is in match coverage and the other safety is in a deep zone, they might think it's a cover two and they might think their corner route's going to end up open or whatever the case is. 
And this is a perfect way to sit there and confuse your opponent is by running a hybrid style defense. I will have a, a much more in-depth video coming out soon about this defense so you guys can run it in the most dominant way possible. But this is the, the first step is getting comfortable with resetting your defense and completely making that adjustment. My name is Pony Montana. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video. I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.